like and an out for uh, cheapest 4 before keepers and uh, my off-road rod project well today we're going to talk uh, what we've done in reference to part 2 of the snorkel installation here I've made a um, homemade snorkel obviously this part metal um, was purchased for just under 20 pounds I believe a flea by item it's a cyclone jobby where basically you see this it's got a slit on the other side of the, the slit on the other side as well where that basically spins and cycles around any crap dust dirt water etc and spits it out of these um, two two fins here you see um, and obviously the rain comes you know falls down so yeah what I've done is I made this part out of um, stainless steel so I didn't want the cold in induction um, slowly rusting away and then you get all the crud sucking through. Um, I've got to tidy this up yet to match me paintwork on the bar, uh, but that ain't going nowhere. I've just welded a TIG welded a bar, bar on there that goes into here, into that brace. So it is all collapsible and can, and can come off. Um, I've gone through the scuttle, as you can see. Um, the, there is a U-bend here, it runs under here, and there is a 5 inch round inline filter here, under here, and that then runs around here, and I'll show you what I've done under the bonnet. Yep, see, so under the bonnet, comes round on a bend, 90 degree angle, and again with stainless steel, 76mm. Um, Three inch pipe if you like down to just shy of uh, about just shy of three inch on this bend to the throttle body with some clips on um, yeah the work involves quite a lot really in regards to um, you can see the little bit of plastic here well there's a reason for that and um, I've got to show you that uh, exactly what it is and as to, and as to why is I've done that um, I now have a breather to sort out. I'm going to have a look at that. And at the moment, I have with the air box where it used to sit, I have all this utility space, all this space here now. So if I wanted to, I can carry on and do well, essentially, I can do coilovers um, on all four corners now because I have the room. So that's great. So, um, yeah, huge amount of space there. So, uh, front coilovers um, and all uh, and the rear will be uh, something for another day. So yeah, so uh, let me shut the bonnet up and I'll show you uh, what I, I'll explain exactly what I did from there so you can see, um, excuse the noise, um, but yeah, nice and straight, straight through there, yeah, um, right hand bend, inline fuel, inline air filter, 5 inch round pick, one, another eBay job, flea bay job, uh, about £25 I think it was, um, but yeah it does fit albeit very tight so under here uh, essentially you've got the uh, an inlet tray a plastic a plastic inlet tray and it sits up proud about two inches and what that's for is it stops any water that goes down here it runs on this channel and it comes down and it comes goes in this down through the inner wings and drops out on the inner wings down here on the floor which is great and I mean it does it does work a treat um, but where you have to cut if you can see just there to there to there just in line there there's about a, a, a line right on the edge basically and the other line is cut about here uh, that's cut uh, five inches wide to drop the filter the inline air filter um, in there it's very tight but you do have to cut away some of this plastic it raises up and what it does is when the water comes down here because there's an air intake here it stops the water from going straight down into the um, the heater and the air intake um, the matrix uh, that side of things the air vents um, the fresh air um, so what it does is the water goes around it but what I've had to do is to get that filter in there um, I've had to basically um, cut that away uh, also what I've had to do is there's two ribs that sit along here um, reinforcement ribs 
uh, rather than mucking around with them, I've got a lump of wood and just tapped them down about a quarter of an inch. And it hasn't affected nothing. I will say though, when you're doing that, uh, one thing I did do is unplug the battery because I wasn't too sure if any airbags were going to go off inside. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, uh, there we are. That's the, uh, excuse my fingers. I'll try and clear something on the phone. Yeah, so there we are. That's the snorkel intake. Um, another reason why I did it there. I've got to tie up a bit of paintwork there, which I caught, unfortunately. Another reason why, although I have got the ball bar here, uh, the other reason I didn't want it out of here is because, um, well, they get smashed up and, um, and as soon as they split, you take on water and the uh, dyno lock your car and uh, hydro lock your car, sorry, bigger pardon, and uh, it's game over. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at with the um, snorkel fit. So, yeah. Um, what I'll do is another day is I'll show you what I've done with the fuel tank inside. I've got a lot of tools on top of it at the moment, but the fuel tank's been moved from underneath the vehicle it's now gone it's now gone from underneath the vehicle um, to a metal box inside the vehicle um, but let's be there for another day so um, Alan from Norfolk in England Jeep is full before Kibus and um, yeah speak to you some other time bye for now oh just to say if you like the video hit the like and subscribe button so you can catch the other ones on the um, builds. Alright, so uh, yeah, thanks for that. Speak to you later. Bye bye.